it's, it's such an it's such a weird thing that you know, her, her, her mum's short term memory now is virtually gone completely. But it can be <laughs> you can have some fun with that, and even and she knows it as well. So we're both having a bit of fun with that because um, the only really good thing about that is I get to tell her about 34 times that Crystal Palace managed to beat Manchester United at the weekend. So I'm dining out on that a little bit. I mean, a quick history, you know, mum was born in 1934. So, and at the age of, I think, 18 months, she was taken from the family home in Dublin and, and brought up with her parents, grandparents. Which means a bit bizarre, I mean... You know, it just just doesn't compute. I mean, over these next four days, and this, this journey will be a case of um, revisiting that, having a laugh. And really, we've had a great day today. Drove up through Wales, and I think when you start driving through places like North Wales on the A5 with the scenery, you can just see the smile on her face, and just like, oh, I'm glad I did this. This is great. And it's stunning. And I've forgotten how, for me, how therapeutic just being in those places are. And that's going through this, you really are. You're on a roller coaster. Trust me, this is not. This is, and it's not. It's not a ride that goes goes up very often. It's a lot of downs. Having said that, there are some ups. So grab them at the same time. Um, it's made me realise that the when I wrote that song, Lost Inside, and, and Adrian helped, how accurate it is because. In, in places, in glimpses, you get the real person that was there. And then it's, it's magical. That, that, that is really magical. Gone but not forgotten As we're taken down this road Our resting place is waiting To believe how dark must have this been at night? Oh, you wouldn't go down here at night. You wouldn't go down there. I wouldn't come down here at you, night you, you now. You might be in the lithium. Yeah. Mm. You'd never get anyone down here at night. So, is any of this familiar at all? There was probably my office around there. That in there? Just around there, yeah. Would have been your office? Yeah. Have a quick look around the front. Is it weird being back? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what it used to be. A little small window. Uh, a really little skinny window. See that it's a half size of the door over there. A little window like that it used to be. Well. I think it was on this side. And that side had all the rag and bone people. To bring all their rubbish to the they used to get paid for, for rags. Would yeah. you believe they have changed that much? 70 years ago, so. Yeah, but look at the change. Yeah. This whole area now is like really very trendy, very trendy area now. Take a trip up there. Yeah. So how, how long did you work here for? I was 16, 14, and then I went to, I went to tech for two years. I went yeah. to tourism, that made me 16, and I got my first job. And then how long was you in that job? I was 18 months in it, or a year in it. And then you went from there to, to where we're going now? Parnell Street, yeah. yeah. So that's just around the corner here now. Oh, that was a lovely job. What what job was that doing? I was running it. I was the <laughs> Running what? <laughs> running, he was a, um, what would you call it? He was a rep, the man who I worked for. And he used to go all over the Southern Ireland selling hankies and something else, just handkerchiefs. Oh, and um, what do you call it? Oh, women use them, toiletries, what, what? tampacks and them. Yeah. Yeah. And I used to be embarrassed, loading up all the tampacks. 
it that's, be. That's a sign of the times, isn't it? Yeah, honest to God. Being, being embarrassed. Oh, because, right, yeah. because of what you're bringing out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's just... That's right, that's a truth and like what, It's like watching Carrie all over again. It is, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah. Um, and he used to take off on a Monday morning and I wouldn't see him now till the Friday. Yeah. Her, and I was only was 16. Dublin's not as busy car-wise as what I... I remember when I drove through here with Mona and Dad, that was about... Oh, it was different then, though. That one, I mean, that was... That would be about 10 years ago, 2009. No, it was about 2009 when I came through with, with Dad and Mona. I remember driving through the centre of town, it wasn't... It was, it was a nightmare. But they've, since they've got the road systems all sorted out over here, it is a bit like, I mean... Sort of, let's oh, just, this uh, is in the. It's only we're literally around the corner from here now. This is in the yes, it's only around the corner. So what, what year did you move here? What year did you move in? Ten, I think it was. So, 44? Something like that, yeah. They would just have to have been built, these houses. Yeah, well, it's been rebuilt now, but a little bit. I only do, do remember playing around here. All of these I can remember. Yeah. End of day two. Uh, very good day, an interesting day. The only thing that happened on the ferry was that mum got lost. So she ended up getting picked up by one of the staff and delivered back to me. I was sort of kind of snoozing by the window, sort of just as we were coming into Dublin Harbour. And then we sort of I said, right, okay, well, where are we going to go? So it's like, I'll take you, let's go back to where you, um, you worked. It's 70 years since mum's been you know, head back to these places. I um, mean, she's been back since, but, you know, this is the memory of going to work in, I think it was Rockfeld Street, or Rockwell Street, one of the other. But when we went down there, it was just like a little back street where she used to work on the docks, and of course the docks were all rejuvenated now, and made very trendy. You know, I saw Lionel Richard there about two years ago uh, when I was over here. Uh, but what was the, the most interesting thing I found today, which is quite fascinating, was... Um, at first, it was very confused, you know, things were very mixed up. Then she managed to direct me, without using sat nav, from the centre of Dublin up to where they used to live, in Carnock Road. So we pulled up outside the old family home, and Mum had directed me there. I didn't have to use a sat nav, and you know, sort of it was, that was kind of like very sort of significant that she was still able to do that. I, Sister. Yeah. Who did, you, who did she marry? My, my mum's sister was called Elizabeth. Liz, she used yeah. to call her. And Betty's her daughter. Yeah. And Mary. And Mary. So you're Betty and Mary. So Betty's Betty. the only one I want to see. Yeah. And, um, but they're both your first cousins. So they, yeah, they, they would are be, yeah. they're your first cousins. They're the only ones we have, I think. Yeah. On my mum's side, anyway. Okay. Your mum didn't have any other siblings? No. Huh? I remember, she said, I remember me going and she said, this old one will see us coming and she won't open the door. I remember saying it to us when we were young. Was well, that a, about her sister? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. She was right, of, though. She was right. Yeah, but usual kind of happy Irish family, isn't it? Yeah. But they, were, they were never close, though. They, know they, sh they never saw each other, you see. They were separated when they were six weeks old. Oh, please tell me the story of that. And they were, yeah, and they were never... Uh, they were never what, why were they separated at six Because weeks? that's the way it was. There's, there's, um, there's no one to take care of them. So your your mum and her sister were separated at six weeks old? Six weeks old, yeah. So, so when and they were you... split between the family. Right, that's right, yeah. So, yes. So, so where did your mum go to stay then? I don't know. I don't know where she went. I, don't, I, don't where no. she went. I no. couldn't tell you. Well, do you know... I'm just interested that what happened to your mum 
it's almost a complete replica of what happened to you. Yeah. But the point I'm making is then when it comes to you, they did exactly the same. Yeah. They sent you down to the arse end of... At that time, they thought it was better for me to live in the country because Dublin was bombed. And I... the accommodation up there was shocking. I get the rationale, Mum, and I know yeah, they probably did it, it from their own... And then I used to come up and down every yeah, Thursday. Yeah, they did that kind of... But so as how, to see me. Yeah, but that must have been so unsettling yeah. for a, a young but, kid. Uh, I used to love his journey up and down from the fair. I used to love it every week. Yeah, but you've still got... You, you're not building anything with your siblings, are you? With your sisters well, or brothers? Did, we never meant to. That's the way it was supposed to be over there. Yeah. That was normal over there. You see the yeah, result. <laughs> I'm, lo I'm loving the grasp of normality. As I, so, as I see that, they made the effort to have saw me mum and dad every day, every every week. I have to share this because we've just had our first, my first experience of how the Irish are Irish. Uh, mum's trying to find a cousin um, who lives in Kildare. The address, we haven't got an address. Mum said, oh, it's um, South South, South Farm, South, uh, whatever, whatever it is, South Farm, say. No, it's not even that, South Road. <laughs> so you get here, no South Road. <laughs> no, there is a South Road, but nothing on there. So driving up and down, Mum can't remember any of it. So then we come into say, so it's the road, and I spoke to Mum's cousin, says, it's the road going out of Kildare over the railway bridge and the first cottage on the left. So, okay, well, we do that. There's five roads going out of Kildare. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not going to help. So then we go down one road and we found, find a guy who lived in Kildare all his life and sort of says, um, uh, we we want to find this this place uh, where Betty now, oh, the Norlands, hey, right. So I said, oh, do you know where he is? Yes, it's not here. <laughs> so, no, 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 clearly it's not here because we're looking for it. She so says, well, you don't want to be here. You want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, okay, also it says it's across the road and then the first on the left. Oh, uh, yeah, but there's five roads. Oh, no, not this, the next road. So, eventually, it was just one of those moments where that it, the Irishness of it, and then, of course, when you go over the bridge, it's not a first house, <laughs> just, just, to, um, just to rub it in that it's actually the fourth house. So, oh. Uh, <laughs> but found it. Mum is now spending some time with her cousin, who's actually sadly sort of um, in the in the late stages of cancer. But um, there was a real smile on her face as I dropped her off. But I just just had to share this. Yes. So how old were you when you was here? I was here and I was up with six or five or six, I think. Then I went up to me up to Dublin. I think it's five or six. I made my communion down here, so yeah, it was five or six, I think. Yeah, yeah and see where the trees are up there. That's where yeah. Sean used to live. There was all of her houses up there. Yeah. And this here used to be a. This used to be a grain house, and there. Let me get again. I think let's let me come up there. Where my dad used to play, learn to play music at the shack. Let me I have to come in here. The shack was there for that. There. The that's, the, that's where he learned to play. Yeah. There you go. So the barbers are still there. Oh. That's our, that was our house. This is your house? Yeah. So you were number two. Comment on the Guinness because mm. I'm commenting on the Guinness. Because the difference between the Guinness here and the Guinness home. Is it? It's the, t the main difference is the creaminess. It's really it's to, very creamy. If you, yeah, if you, so it's the actual creaminess of it. Look, you can almost run your car on it. And um, the other thing then is the temperature because we tend to overcool Guinness in the cooling pipes at home. Whereas it's never overcooled, it's just like a perfect. Perfect temperature, and it is slightly sweeter. Probably different. Yeah. Even slightly sweeter. Yeah. A lot easier to drink. 